Hey guys, it's time to check out the um, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow Cyanogen Mod 13 ROM uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S5 here. This is the G900F um, Snapdragon model. So let's see here. Previously, I was using the uh, VR Toxin ROM. I mean, that ROM uh, came with Android 6.0. So um, yeah, I wanted an upgrade. So we have 6.0.1 you can see first of all from the lock screen uh, this is we can unlock it we can also go ahead and launch the Google now thing and then we can go ahead and launch the camera so you can see here camera is working fine let's see if we can take a picture okay and let's see if we can uh, record the video of course you can get the latest Google camera app that we have for Nexus 6p and the 5x on the on the marshmallow devices here so you can see here video is also working fine you can also go ahead and take a look at the gallery this is our video so everything is working fine so let's see here this is how the ROM looks like very neat so marshmallow style uh, vertical scrolling uh, scrolling and we got the search bar on the top where we can search any application um, let me just zoom in here at the bottom we have this nice little um, alphabet for example if you want to open up camera you can go here to C section and you can see here all the apps with uh, starting off with the C alphabet so pretty nice here also comes with its uh, default let's see here default file manager Cyanogen mod file manager very nice you can access all your data all your stuff of course if you have the SD card you can, you can also access that we get the default browser here this is it's called as browser okay uh, if you don't like it you can get the Google Chrome from the Play Store and uh, yeah like I said for the installation you can check out the video link down below in the description box for the tutorial you will find all the links for the download and all those stuff in that video so please check that out and of course if we check out here the settings going into about phone you can see Android 6.0.1 marshmallow and also it has this some other stuff like uh, for example if we tap on build number a couple of times it says now you have enabled development development settings uh, which means you can enable stuff like USB debugging and all that so I see here this is a pretty nice ROM actually I mean Sancho Mod 13 always shines uh, we have we had the CM12 uh, the best part of this ROM is basically it comes uh, with this uh, nice theme engine now of course you can get themes free from the Play Store um, there are a lot of themes that are free on the Play Store uh, that you can apply uh, as long as they are compatible with CM13 you will not going to face any problem um, also you can see here we got some options related to sounds normal Android options you can mess around with the vibration intensity and also we got display and light where we can also enable or disable double tap to sleep now you can double tap the status bar here like this to sleep your device and also you have the option to change lights now for example if you connect the if your battery light is uh, let's say if the battery light is low uh, you can change the color from red to somewhat like green or let's see here blue or yellow that's really nice same goes for the notification light in the notification cent uh, center you can also disable the pop-up head up uh, heads up notification um, these are actually the notification that we get when we are playing games and we, we get a message and it just pops up so you can disable that if you hit it um, also we have some other options like do not disturb and then also going into lock screen uh, we get this nice screen lock option where we have other things like swipe pattern and pin and password so you can also check that out 
and also then we have buttons and this is one of the favorite features here where you can set up custom actions for example double tap uh, we will set up you know you can set up these things here let's see here if we set up camera so double tapping the home button will launch camera so it's similar to quick launch uh, feature that we get on touchviz uh, 6. Point, uh, touchviz uh, lollipop roms so and you can also have like hold the home button so you can see hold home button will holding the home button will initiate Google now on tap which basically scans the screen for any Google now function uh, we also have this gesture option here let's see here what is this okay so gestures we have hand wave uh, we also have the pocket and also uh, you get like notification when your phone is in pocket and all that uh, proximity wake you can wake the device by waving your hand let's see if that's work okay let's log it again in. oh wow that works very very nice I, I don't remember that we got this feature on the Galaxy S6 yeah pretty weird actually but pretty awesome for the S5 uh, battery you can see here enable app profiles also we got battery mode very very nice definitely this is improved uh, we had uh, we had like normal battery option on the s6 for the s6 but for the s5 you can see we can change it from battery mode from uh, to efficiency from balance to efficiency to power save to performance if you want to play games and all that wow this is really nice I mean I definitely want to see some benchmarks also I'll do that in a separate video in performance mode um, then also you can see here we got security options normal security options memory you can see here all your RAM how much RAM has been used and all that uh, status bar that's pretty nice you can tweak all these settings here on the top for example clock style um, you can also change the battery status style like circle you can also enable the battery percentage inside the icon now you have the battery inside the icon all the percentage uh, notification count you can also enable that pretty nice brightness control so uh, sliding the finger like this you can see here very nice customization uh, then we have some apps privacy uh, which of course you get where you can also block a certain number you can also enable it a pretty nice blocked color list if, if someone is you know teasing you messaging you then you can also block their number awesome awesome ROM and like I said everything works absolutely fine I mean uh, there is no reason to not install this this ROM here because we don't have any 6.0 touches ROM so you can go ahead and install uh, ROMs like this under mod AOSB ROMs here so definitely this is pretty awesome and uh, you can see here we can also edit tiles right from the quick settings bar here pretty nice holding down and moving deleting and also um, Bluetooth and everything works absolutely fine, so definitely give it a try. Sanjay Mod 13.0 uh, coming with 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Hopefully, uh, this will work fine for your Galaxy S5. This is G900F. If you install it, definitely you will receive updates, uh, nightly updates. So, uh, of course, uh, I haven't seen any bugs or anything like that or any crashing. You might see some small bugs, but for me, it's working absolutely fine and it's pretty much suitable for daily usage so yeah also you can see here we get this nice option for app drawers where you can change the icon size from large to small or small to large fast scroll um, also you get drawer style options compact you can see here now we get the old icons I mean old way of the uh, of the app drawer wow 
it's looking very nice you can also change the color from black to white also the transparency of the background of the app drawer ton of ton of customization definitely is the best custom ROM for the S5 at the moment uh, Cyanogen mod 13.0 definitely definitely give it a try and do let me know if you have any um, concerns or anything that you want to see any video regarding this and uh, yeah I will catch you guys in my next video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe peace out